Hello. Hello. This is Nerds of the West, and today we are at Choco Brewing. They've very kindly let us film here and try some of their beers. Cheers, Chris. Cheers, Tom. This has come directly from the tank here, letting us try a brand new beer of theirs. It's a very nice breakfast stout. It's got a very coffee kind of taste to it. Oh, it's very nice. Mm. Today, we are playing microbrew at a microbrewery. I love the Swan Valley. I love all the breweries around here. I just, I love beer. So I love this game. I checked this out on Kickstarter a couple of years ago now. This is a video I've wanted to do for a while. I'm super keen to get into this. This is a worker placement game with a little bit of a twist because not only do you have this cool puzzle here where you move the hops around your board to brew the right kind of beer that you need, you also can go where your opponent has already gone. In this game, if I've taken this spot, Chris can then take that spot, yeah. but it gives me my worker back to have another go this round. So we're gonna jump straight into this. The, the winner of the game is the person with the most loyal customers at the end. We'll start with one loyal customer. We can earn more loyal customers by brewing the perfect kind of beer for them or by advertising with a well-produced beer. Advertising will go up in cost as the game goes on, so you might want to do it early or you might want to get bulk money and do it late game to snatch some perfect customers away from your opponent. There is also bonuses. We have a shared bonus, this game, and I'll be honest, whoever gets the shared bonus, in my experience, wins this game, so this is gonna be very hotly contested. Uh, whoever has the most spicy beer at the end of the game gets one extra loyal customer, and we both have two secret bonuses. At the end, we can only complete one secret bonus, but we have them both throughout the whole game. Have I missed anything, Chris? I don't think so. I think we should dive right in. Go for it. You, you've got the first player marker, and by right. first player marker, I mean the your turn marker that gets passed back and forth. Indeed. And will remind us to ferment our bottles. Uh, all take, right. Take your turn. I'm going to drink well, my beer. The first thing I'm thinking of doing is arranging all of my stuff in the big metal thing. I know a lot about brewing, by the way. <laughs> so I am going to take the brew action, which is uh, to brew inside of my big metal thing. It is to send yellow game pieces toward the top, brown pieces toward the bottom, and orange pieces will subsequently find themselves in the middle. Um, one Pick extra. One token. Uh, yes, you, you choose one token, and that token can move as many times as it's legal up these up the chain of command. Um, one final type of token type is the uh, the hops, the green piece, which can be swapped anywhere, but it's a dud piece. It doesn't contribute to any combination. So first thing I'm thinking of is I'm looking at my secret beer that you don't know. But also the beers that we have available to us here. Indeed, yes. Which I'm, I'm just going to point out, in case you've missed it, this beer is absolutely perfect for me. Not only is it the right kind of beer in three yellow hops yes. and one dark hops, it's a sweet beer, as noted yes. by this symbol here, which means I will get three extra coins when I give my lovely Scottish wee heavy, well, that isn't, that's not his name, it's the kind of beer he likes, <laughs> uh, give him that kind of beer. So, not we saying you should snipe that one away from me, but should probably make sure I don't get that one real soon. Yeah, it's interesting, but I would love to snatch that away from you, Tom, but sadly, my big metal thing is crap. Uh, <laughs> there's not a whole lot going on there. It is randomised at the start of the game. Yeah. And you can do some things to control it later on. That's mostly what the flush action's for, but I'll let Chris take his brew action. I shall move my yellow game piece up to this position, swapping with that orange and I'll choose to take no further actions. I could keep the chain going. You could. I'm going to do the exact same thing as you and take one brew action and move a singular piece because now I have three yellow hops and one, no, three yellow malts, I should say, hops the green one. I've made a perfect three light malts and one very dark malt, which is perfect for this beer here, perfect for my man here. Oh. The order doesn't matter. You take one column to bottle and you put them on the bottle in any order that you need to. Got it. All right. I want, there's no way I can snag that from you now, mm, is there? No, unfortunately, you don't have the, the malts in the right order on your no, side of the board. I do not. Do you have the malts on your side of the border to bottle anything though? Because you know I'm going to be bottling next turn. Mm. So if you take the bottle action now, mm. you will get a bonus turn. Sadly, it's too early for me to have done anything productive with my That's unfortunate. time. So I will... I, I, I think I have to brew, but that will just give you so much advantage. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll have to do it. Because you can't happen. replace your own worker have to replace one of your opponents if yes. you want that action. So now Tom's worker is back. So I will, I will adjust this 
useless green hop with this yellow malt, and it's your turn. Well, I should be sending that Sending that back and forth. It doesn't really matter at the moment, <laughs> but it will start mattering from this turn, because I am bottling. I take this lovely beer, place it into my area. I'm gonna try and keep beers that are ready to go and beers that are still fermenting separate, because that is important in this game. Grab myself all my hops. Nice. Look at them go. Lay them up there. Now, at the end of every single round, all bottles that can ferment do ferment. So I pass this back to Chris, and it reminds me, all bottles ferment. Any perfectly matched hops, only malt, I will someday <laughs> get it right. I'm not a brewer, I'm a board game reviewer. Uh, any perfectly matched malt moves over there. Any that don't match, come over and ruin your beer a little bit, making it worth not as much money, as noted by all the different sides of the card. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it's Chris's turn. I sadly have run out of actions, so all I can do is send the turn back to you and ferment your bottle even further. Thank you very much. I'm not off to a good start. Unfortunately not. I think I will mash. I've emptied one side of my tray. I could advertise if I had money, but I can't, because I don't have money. I could flush to get rid of any excess hops from my tin, but at the moment having one in there is kind of beneficial. It lets me move things around as I need. I could take a break and get myself a free dollar, but I think setting myself up for the next couple of rounds is a better plan. Probably a good idea. All right, let's mash. When you mash, get in there. You take randomly from the tray and fill from the top down. Uh, and in the tray, as you can see, but I can't, uh, all the different kinds of tokens, including hops. There we are. Of course I get a hops now that I've said the word hops. Nice. But honestly, not too bad. I got a yellow one right down the bottom, which gives me options to move later on. Indeed. That's the end of the round. Yep. Though I did take an action, so my bottle does ferment once more. All and right. you will be the first player next round. Uh, what do we do? Gather brewers. Everyone gets their stuff back. Let's do it. Send in my way. Any customers who have been given beer that wasn't perfect for them to make them loyal and come to the person get flipped back over because they, they got sold a beer, they're no longer thirsty, um, but none of that happened this round. Uh, we add a recipe, so we take a beer recipe. Oh, thank goodness. And add it there. It's not a bad one, to be honest. No, it's all right, actually. Uh, we move the brewmaster over, and depending on where he ends up, different things will happen. You can still go to where the brewmaster is, but if you go there, your opponent gets a free brew action. Mm. So it's a nice little, nice little push and pull. Like because that. he's moved to the flush, we get all of the discarded uh, tokens back into the tin. We do nothing else. That's it. We that's the round. the round. And that's how this game works. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you do enjoy watching, we appreciate you, you know, liking, leaving a comment, subscribing. It's all that stuff that I'm supposed to say at the start of the end of the video, but at the moment I'm too busy thinking about the game and thinking about this wonderful stout. It is a nice stout, and it is a very cerebral kind of game. All right, well, I'm in first. They say first in best dress, but I don't know. This is looking quite dire for me. So, I will, I, I got him. Bottle, don't I? If you're ready to bottle, I think I you am. need to. So I'm sending a yellow and treble oranges into my secret. Ooh, wonderful, the one yeah. card that we start with in our hand. And the good part about this one is that it's a spicy one and I'm perhaps Ooh. thinking about working towards the end game goal, yeah, very public nice. goal. So over to you, we um, ferment your beer. Which is now ready to serve and I think I have to serve it, right? It is absolutely perfect for this guy, yeah. so it's going to get me four dollar e dues. Then it's also a sweet beer, so all up it's going to get me seven dollar e dues, which could advertise to someone because advertising costs four, but I've got other plays for yes. it. So I'm going to serve, because you can only serve when you have a beer ready to go. This beer comes back into my hand. Uh, as I said, you get money based on what it is, and the money is all tracked down here. So I get four dollars for selling a very perfect beer, and I get $3 for selling this guy the kind of beer that he loves. Nice. At $7, you have $9. Yeah, I do. Pick it up. Yes. All right, the turn is sent to me. Actually, should I have... You should have fermented uh, at the end of your turn. No wonder I'm losing. <laughs> All right, well, I'll do it twice. Do it just twice. Just take these back seas. That's fine. All right, now it's my turn. I've got to brew something. I've got to do something. And that something is... Really harsh my mellow. 
There's not a whole lot I can do now that I've taken like a middle mm. thing. Oh, that was very silly of me. I ought to mash, right? It's probably a good option. Yeah, if, there, if there's nothing that you can really move, like mm. you've really just got that, those two brown pieces that you could move all the way down, but whether or not they actually uh, end up giving you yeah. the right kind of beer is the problem. Oh God, yeah. It's all in the wrong order, Tom. It, it is all in the wrong oh. order. I think mashing <laughs> might, be, might be the right move yeah, to give I'm you gonna more mash, options. I think. Okay, so let's shake this bad boy. Take some randomized little icons and you fill from top to bottom. Fill from maybe. top to bottom. Left to right, top to bottom. Yes, if you've got multiple to fill. Uh, sorry, I feel that's bottom to top. Oh, top to bottom. Yeah, top to bottom. But doesn't liquid fill up from the I'm bottom? I'm sure to it top? does. All right. At well, the start of the game, it tells you to fill top to bottom, so that's what I'm going very with. Very well. In that case, I will swap them around. That's not bad. That's some good options. It's better. <laughs> it's better than nothing. It's interesting that you've got to manage this puzzle while managing what moves you want to take. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to take the manage action, which is kind of four actions in one. Right after my beer for Right after your beer ferments. Yeah, I always forget that. Um, now, the manage action, you can pay $1 to take one of your workers back and have them for another round. You can pay $2 to get three recipes, one into your hand, one into the market, one back into the deck. Uh, you can pay $3 to upgrade your tank and thereby have another row to fill up and move with. But what I'm gonna do is pay $4 and hire myself, one, two, three, four, my third staff member, and I'm gonna be able to use him straight away this round and all subsequent yeah, rounds. It's a great play. Getting him early is, uh, yeah. It's almost necessary in this game. I think so. Like, it's so important. If you have $4, that's probably just the best yeah. thing you can do with it. Unless you can really brew multiple beers, like it's just come out mm. the right way and you can get bulk money early, but... Yeah. I haven't seen that happen. No, nor have I. All right, turn sent to me. Turn sent to you. My thingy is Things ready. Meant, but you got no people. No. Um, so you have to pass. I know. Nothing happens, but at least you got the fermentation from it. I do. Uh, so I got my spare worker, and I think I'm going to brew. Flushing is kind of not a bad idea because I get rid of my two hops, but uh, brewing is also a good idea. And I am going to actually move this orange hops upwards. Uh, orange malt. Orange malt. Yeah. <laughs> malt. Orange malt. Uh, no, I'm not. What am I talking about? I'm going to move this. What, what, what am I talking about? I had an idea. Yeah, now it's yeah, gone. Yeah, yeah, no, I've got it. I've okay. got it. It cool. seems counterintuitive, and that's why I forgot it. <laughs> I'm moving the yellow malt downwards. Yeah, odd thing. Yeah, do. normally that would move up, but I've already got the two orange ones here and now I've got the two yellow ones. It's gonna be your turn next turn. So unless you've got something ready to bottle, I can bottle this bad boy okay. well, right away. Let's take our pieces back. Yeah, I'll let you run through the... Take pieces back, manager moves to the advertising floor, mm. I guess. You've kind of skipped a few steps. We'll add a recipe first. That's true. This is why you entrusted me, Tom, with yeah. what's going on. It is upside down. I don't, I don't, I <laughs> yeah, you think I'm going to read upside down? I can't even read the right way up. Uh, so now we've got a lovely three dark hops, one light hops Ooh, right there. Ooh, Malt, nelly. damn it. One day. One day, yeah. Uh, but it's moved to the advertising uh, station, which does what? Okay, when it moves there, we reveal another treasured customer to the lineup. This beer's there. Yeah, there it is. Coming. There it is. Maybe maybe I do want to move a couple around to get that one. Mm. While going through adding a customer there, I realized we kind of skipped around last round. It doesn't make a difference. I don't think any of us could have got it. No. But it means there should be another customer or two. And I think I'm going to have to encroach on your space here. Uh, actually, we had a customer from last round, customer from that, and a customer from there. We've revealed the extra customers, and that's important because the game will end immediately if ever all customers are loyal, or when this deck runs out, we finish that round and take one final round so that everyone has a chance to get any extra loyal customers. All right. So we've got quite a few more options now. Mm, this changes a, a decent amount. You've, you've got a lot of things you can do there. Yes, I do. But you need the beer that is correct to do it. I do, which is the, the pinch point for me at the moment. So I will be brewing and sending this lovely orange piece down the chain of command through my hops and toward the end there. Nicely done. Um, I will be bottling, even though there is no one perfect for that right now. You basically always want to have something bottled if you mm. can, because at the very least you can try and rack up some money, use that perfect beer to advertise to someone. Yeah. Because you don't have to just do that 
beer. You could you can brew any beer. Mm. But whether or not you need to brew a perfect beer to get a customer or take away a beer and brew it badly to steal it away from the other player is the yeah. is the question. The question. But well, I'm gonna bottle. I'm gonna take this right here. I'm gonna fill up this, I think it's some kind of lagery looking pilsner thing. It's, kind of, it's a light beer. Light beer! That's what they drink in Star Wars when they're traveling at light speed. Buzz light beer. Yeah. <laughs> That's Tom Hanks' favorite. Uh, all right, uh, so that passed to me, now it passes back to you, and I ferment. There we go. Yeah, having something fermenting all the time is really key. Here's a big play. I will be brewing the old double swifty in there. Mm. I'm going to move this brown malt down toward the bottom. Yeah, that one's nice. Your turn, Unfortunately, I boy. can't snipe that away from you because I've taken the bottle action, so... Yeah, you can't do it. I, I mean, can't... I can't do it either, but... <laughs> um, no, you'll be... Ferment as yeah, well, that's true, but I... I do ferment, yeah. but I'm probably going to brew, which means you're probably going to get that action. Oh, give it to me. Because I've I've got, I could actually, I could spend three and upgrade and have that available to me for the rest of the game. But I'm thinking I'm going to save my money and use it for advertising. So I really want to get my stuff in a way that I can get more, more okay. money from beer. Okay. Uh, so I want to brew again. Ooh, send him back. Send him back to you. I'm doing the same thing I did last time and move the yellow light yeah, malt downwards. down instead. Yeah, okay. I'm getting stuck on which way things are supposed to move and then I'm doing the opposite and I'm doing the wrong kind of opposite. Yeah. You which think. is probably the sign of a good game that there's those kind of things that I need to think about. Well, yeah, it's a very, very cerebral game of consideration, yeah. even though it's about like, hey, party time. Have fun, fun. Beer, beer for everyone. Yeah. All right. Very there complex. We go. Okay. Mine. Ferment. Ferment. Um, I will be bottling. I see no reason not to bottle if I can yeah. because I need things fermenting. Yep. Sadly, you get your worker back, but that was just clever gameplay I, on your part. I don't think it makes a huge difference. No. Um, I'm spending a brown and three orange malts to grab the. Oh, sorry, I should keep those because I'm putting it on this. Yes, you should. Perfect. Spicy beer of some description, and pass the turn to you while fermenting the first stage of it. Yes, but mine also ferments. Oh, bother. which is nice. But I'm also going to bottle again, so you can have that guy back. And I'm going to play the card from my hand again and get three lovely light Yay. hops, malts, 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 and one dark. Malt there. Back to you. Fermentation happens. Fermentation happens. I will be bottling, so Tom. What? You can That's have crazy. Your... What? Who would have thought? No. I know. I know. You Playing never saw game. it coming. Playing this game perfectly, my friend. Like currently, like the last time we played this in the practice round, which the viewers definitely don't know about. What? We don't. This is the first time playing <laughs> yeah, the game, right? Chris. This game's so easy. It's actually pretty <laughs> it's so easy to intuitive. pick up. So intuitive. Um, I don't think either of us had more than one thing on the brew at a time. And no, I think that was a big very mistake. much realised that you need to yeah. get it all going very fast. Because now when I send the turn to you, I've got two things fermenting yes. working in my favour. Now I'm tempted to sell this beer Do it. for four dollary dues. And I think that's actually a really good idea. I'm going to serve this beer because it doesn't give you an extra turn but it'll give me more time to ferment. So I'm going to sell that. It is perfect. There are no contaminants. I get $4. One, two, three, four. And that comes back nice. to my hand. Turn passes to you. Things ferment for everyone. This is my perfect beer. Well done. Uh, you pass the turn. I have to, yes. Things ferment for everyone. Now, oh, unfortunately, yeah, right. <laughs> I can't serve this, but what I can do is advertise with it. Yeah. Now, I don't get the huge amount of money that I would get from serving it to this guy, but it does get me another loyal customer. Mm. And I think I've got to be a jerk 
and snipe a customer away from you. You would really do that to me, Tom? I would really do that to really? you with how close okay. this game can be and the fact that you have more bottles on the go than I do. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to advertise, but it does mean you get a free brew action. A free brew action? I don't know oh, how yippee. helpful that is for you. <laughs> uh, but as we're saying, I use the advertise action, and advertising is... Well, it's advertising. You give someone the beer that they don't necessarily want, but you pay them to think that they do. Mm. I pay $4 per loyal customer I have, which is just the one. One, two, three, four. The $4 that I just earned from this other beer. And I am going to give this to, I think I need to take, let me double check that nothing matches what I need it to for my secret, secret objectives. Yes, yes. And that's the thing. I think I... Do you want to get the customer no, that helps the secret I, objective? Or I think I need the customer that helps my secret objective, okay. not the one that... Rather than just hate Simply driving. because of looking at the beers that you have, I think I need to go for this secret objective and not the other one. Got it, okay. So, so there's I, another mind game. So many little things. So I am giving this beer to the lovely Irish dry stout lady. But Tom, that was the one I... No, no you weren't. Yeah, yeah. You, would <laughs> you, you admittedly could have gone for this one. Uh, yeah, it. it wouldn't have been perfect, but yeah. So I now have two loyal customers. I am in the lead. Um, and the reason I'm going for that, we may have shown it on camera already. I may edit it in to make sure it all works. <laughs> but there are bonus cards that are, have the right combination of nationalities in there. And mm. I have one of those. Chris can obviously know that now. You can obviously know that now. And I am of the way to it. Oh, or is that a bluff for you? Is that a bluff? Who knows? Why am I looking at those? Those aren't my things. But that is my turn. Right. I pass back to you. You now have three beers ready to serve and I have none, I which kind of balances itself out because I won't be going there next mm, time. Mm. Uh, end of the round. Let's do it. Gather. Oh, did you want your free brew action? Um, oh, yeah. I was like, glad you reminded me because I was going to move this yellow malt over there. Fair. And yeah. we'll take our dudes back. Man, I need to get my third one. We'll flip any customers that we need to. You'll be selling so much soon. Oh, yeah. Uh, we will add a customer. It is the Russian <laughs> Imperial Stout. Not the lovely breakfast stout that we are drinking from Choco Brewing. Thank you once again for letting us film here. Uh, we add a recipe. Ooh, one of them beautiful spicy beers. You've already got two spicy beers. I do, like that, yeah. So I've really got to get it going on. Uh, we move the brewmaster and he moves to the manage pile, which adds Another recipe. Another recipe. Beautiful, <gasps> perfect stout. Oh, brother. All at one. Wow. That's going to be difficult. Oh, yeah. Um, that is, I believe, the turn, the round, and you get to start with wherever you would like to sell things. Like, availability is really low on those, like, new mm. beers. I want to get something fermenting, but like the thing's empty. I don't no, have any I think, money. I think you need yeah. to start serving. And I get gotta, money. I gotta serve because money is so yep. important. So I'll serve. I'll send the. Actually, I want spicy ones first, don't I? As a prior. So I'll send this, this chap, to the Oktoberfest lager loving gentleman. Uh, and I gain that guy as a loyal customer. loyal customer. This goes back into my hand. It and does. because of the match, so I'll get a uh, perfect three and two additional money for matching with the spice. So five dollars. Five dollar dues. Ow. Oh. You have been nervous with how many beers that you've got going on, um, but hopefully I can make it back. What I'm going to do is upgrade. Oh, so I get you a get a free brew action again. Oh. I know I'm giving him free stuff, but also his tank is not that Yeah, free. it's a good time to take advantage. So I'm going to grab my extra tap here, fill in this side of the board. What's it? Cause... There we go. Uh, now when I most of likely mash the next turn, I will fill everything and not just the left-hand side. Mm. But I will say these things here aren't standard to the game. I don't even know if you buy this game that you'll get these. Uh, this is a micro game and everything fits in the tin. Obviously these don't. There is a card version of this. These two cards to put it together and a card version of the middle area of the board. Uh, but that's my turn. Everything ferments if there was anything to ferment. During my free brew, I don't think I want to move anything, so... I thought that might be the case, uh, so yeah. I was okay doing that. Well, what am I doing? Seven or... Oh, you've already done that thing. I've done so many things. You have. I really need my extra staff member. 
Uh, you you know that I am probably going to mash. So if you mash, you're probably getting him back. Probably. You're, look, your vat's empty. Probably. If what I... else am I? Admittedly, what else am I going to do? I can't. I could serve these, but they'd be terrible beers, and I don't really need to run ahead on money. I'm already ahead on yeah. money once I've actually moved my money down. I'm no longer ahead on money, but I'm ahead on the fact that I've bought both of my upgrades. So. I, yeah, I'm wondering if like if it's better to mash so that you give my dude back, or if I just take the managerial mm. office, give your dude back, but you your free brew action will be yeah. wasted. But I think, yeah, I need to mash more importantly because there's nothing going yeah. on on my board, so I'll do that. Now, this tin is probably about to run out, mm. but it doesn't refill until you've taken everything out of it. Yes. So let's see what happens here. So if, like, metagaming, it feels like there's enough. There's uh, enough in there? Yeah. Especially, it's probably better than, because I'm going to refill 12. That yeah, true. Happen. You're up there. God, look at all these hops coming out on my True, side. but you could use the flush action. When you use the flush action, you get to pick yeah. which malts you want to replace those hops. You get to sculpt the contents of your big metal thing. And the final piece of the puzzle. There we go. Ooh. Damn, I reckon you did all right. All right, well, as I said, taking the same action. Yeah. Skipping ahead because we got nothing to ferment right now. How are you feeling about the game so far, Chris? Well, I'm struggling, but only because of, I think, luck, but I admittedly it's probably my lack of foresight. The game itself is really fun, in my opinion. I like the little game that you're playing game within with your the game. own vat to make combinations of different colored molds, while also trying to watch everyone else's board and see what they're going for and maybe snag their Did customer I get it perfect? Away. Well, not quite. I think there's five in there and I need four, so let's just see oh, no. how we do. We'll Means it, No, 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 it's not going to refill. Oh, you actually don't get anything. No, there is one left in there and that will not go until one of us flushes or, or uh, mashes again. Um, pass back to you. Okay. Have a nice turn. <laughs> Have a nice turn. Oh, brother. All right, well. If you can follow the squiggly line in your in your mind's eye, this brown can actually shuffle the whole conga line yeah. with my sorry with my when brew the, action. action. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I'm going for anything else. So that now I yep. have the very very difficult to assemble quadruple brown. And there are two of them, and I believe looking at them, yeah, they are identical. exactly the same. Yeah. But what do I want to do? That's the question. I've got one ready to go. I just don't know whether or not it's worth it. That's the, that's the yeah. thing. It, it could just make me money, but I think I really need loyal customers. So I think I need to move things to a certain direction. So I think I need to brew. But I'm going to move this. <laughs> you must have moved <laughs> things the wrong way. Like, Dude, I'm like... <laughs> Big brain mode. It's more, I've got these two here and I don't know which one I'm on to move. Mm. I think I'm gonna move this one. Oh. Move it the wrong way again, just for, just for the meme, just for the lols. Yeah, um, superior I, want, I wonder who I'm going for. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, uh, but that's the end of the round again. Uh, and you'll be the first player next round. Cool. Let's go, so. speed through these bad boys. Blip, 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 yes. blip. Do it. We don't, we've never flipped any, oh my God. The ink. No. Oh, brilliant. Oh, brother. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's There's so very... many things I want to do right now, but I can only do them one at a time. That's very, very unfortunate. Um, we add a recipe. Uh -huh. We move the brewmaster to flush, and we fill everything back Oops. in. I like that. I like that the game helps you move those things along. Yes. Okay. Wow. That's like perfect, isn't uh, it? Well, peek behind the curtain. I just had to check the rules. Because I thought the bonus card that I have, I needed to get all the flags of. But I've checked the rules and I just need to get most of the flags. Yeah. Which is great, because I've already got two of three. Right. Putting that one out there, I've already met the requirement. Yeah. What had me worried was Chris has the perfect Four dark malt right there 
for that guy yeah, who is the other the flag on my card. English flag. Yeah. That would have been really nasty if, oh, yeah. if you had needed that oh, guy. Oh, damn it, Hammy yeah. Wide. Right? Good oh, that's good I to know. I kept my, kept my rule book in the lovely big pocket that comes on our merch <laughs> for less jumpers. Link to merch down below. Nice plug. Thank you. Uh, your turn. All right. Just knowing that now changes my plan too. So thanks for checking those. You're rules. welcome. I am going to. I think this is going to be way too difficult for you to assemble. Oh, yeah. Unless you want to snipe the English bloke. <laughs> like really poorly. Yeah. So I'll bottle do the old do that one. quadro. Right. Well, I mean, it's it's money in the bank. Yeah. These are identical, so I'll just take that one. Nicely done. And this one will be fermenting while Tom plods along on his yep. turn. So the first one of those disappears. Uh, weirdly enough, I'm also going to brew. Ooh. I mean, also going to bottle. Okay. I said the wrong words. Uh, I'm going to use one of the cards from my hand this yeah. lovely, as it turns out, perfect Imperial Stout. Mm. Now Chris could still snipe it away from me. Could. You can sell a beer to that person and flip them over, but honestly, I don't think that's worth it. Unless you really need money and just stop them at the same time, I, I think you're just wasting time not brewing the perfect beer and getting loyal customers. I think so as well. I think that, that might be something you could do on the last turn of the game. 100%. Really put a spanner in someone's Work. Which is where the break action comes in really handy because mm. that can flip customers back over. Yeah. You take a break, work, your yes. customers somehow get thirsty again. <laughs> um, we will ferment Fence. again. Ferment again. I certainly need my third worker. Like there's no. Yeah. There's no ifs or buts about it. And now that the manager has moved away, I'm not giving you any free value. So I'll spend four coins down to one money, I should say, dollars. And I think that kind of balances out for me, because not only are you then getting another action, we're probably sharing actions more mm. often, and the game becomes a lot more yeah. push and pull towards the end. Agree, agree. Um, all right, we move, we ferment. Woohoo! I will brew. And just a nice, quick, easy swap between some hops and some medium malt. And it's back to you. Okay, we we'll ferment okay. again. Oh yeah, mine's ready. Yours is ready. I don't want to give your, your worker back, unless I really have to. I will brew. Okay. Am I? Am I going to brew, Tom? I don't know. Are oh, you? God. I don't know. Yes, I am. I'm sending this orange malt all the way down there, down the blockchain in this cryptocurrency <laughs> establishment where they make cryptocurrency just like you can with real world cryptocurrency. Definitely advice you should follow. Definitely how it works. Certainly, yeah. Uh, send it back to you, ferment. Yep. And I am going to serve because I think you're probably going to serve as well and I will somehow maybe be getting a worker back. I considered flushing. I've got a lot of, lot of hops yeah. in here but let's keep on going with my plan of getting as many loyal customers, customers as I can. Yes. Perfect beer for this lovely lady. Yeah. Um, I will get, did I get my money for serving to her? I don't even know. I can't remember. I don't think I did, <laughs> but that's on me. Um, if you don't think you did, just boost no, yourself. No, don't worry about it at no, all. Okay. I mean, you'll have that Oh yes, money. I did, because then I used it to Oh yeah, to upgrade, didn't you? Yeah, no, I, I didn't. I didn't sell a beer to her. I advertised to her, so I don't get money from her. Right, got it. The mind games. All right, but I do get money from her. I gave her a perfect level beer, and it was the perfect beer for her. I get four dollar dues, which is almost the twelve dollar dues I need to advertise again. Russia, eh? Hey? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What am I doing? I'm like, there's no world where you steal the English chap away from me. So I'm comfortable letting it stay there, but now that I've said that, you could totally be a dick and, and steal it. So who knows? There are plays, Chris, there are plays. Mm. I need to get rid of some of this spicy beer. I don't have that much spice going on at the moment. You've got more spice than me, because it's not just the ones that are out there, it's the ones in your hand. Yeah. And I've seen the ones in your hand, and you've seen the ones in my hand at this point, and I have none which is why I'm going so hard for as many customers as I can, because I think you've yeah. already got this. <laughs> I'll 
Bla. Ooh, all right. I do get a free brew action. So what that does is I can take all of my greens and throw them away and replace them as I wish with any combination from the box. So I'll be putting two yellows here. And a dark brown there. Okay, my turn is finished. Your turn is finished. I'm just trying to decide what I want to do with this free brew action. And I think weirdly enough, I'm going to set myself up to flush next turn mm. and just move this yellow hops down a couple of places so then I can move it up if I need to later. Yeah, good idea. Setting up for a flush is actually quite good yeah. too. I could move it then back up to here, but this beer is actually already ready to go. So, mm -hmm. um, end of the round. Yep. Grab our dudes. Take our dudes. Do the whole thing. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. No. Knock everything everywhere. Yes, integral part of the game that. Uh, flip customers, then add a customer, and the game is almost coming to an end. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. American, American tasty wheat ale right there. Beautiful, beautiful hoppy. That has to be like an IPA or something. There's lots of, yeah. lots of malt and hops going on there. Uh, and uh, we move the brewmaster who moves to advertise and we bring out another customer. So this is probably, unless someone does something crazy to bring customers out, which I don't think is possible, the third last round of the game because at the end of this round, this will flip out and it will take that round and one more round. Yeah. It's moved very fast. It has. All right, so is it your turn? Um, I believe so. I believe you took the last action. Yes. You flushed. Yes. Uh, and I think I am going to have to flush as well. Mm -hmm. um, but at least it will give me options. Yes. And let me look at who we've got out there and what I might want to do. What beers I have available to me and what beers I have. So I'm gonna flush, so I'm getting rid of every hop from my tin, but also all the extra malts that we have left out go back in, and then I get to choose what goes where. So I am going to put a light malt here. Uh, I don't get to fill this space in. I am going to put a Dark malt here, and I am going to put a. <sighs> really comes down to what beers are available, doesn't it? That's the yeah. big play at the moment. Let's put a bunch of light malt out cool. and hope for the cool best. Idea. A little bit. Your turn. I will bottle. I'm gonna crunch these spectacular four light malts into that excellent, whatever the hell that is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I drink beer. And it, it's unfortunate, it doesn't say it on the card, it just <laughs> yeah. says it on the person. It's, yeah, it's think, left to your interpretation, a, a Belgian I think. blonde ale. A Belgian blonde ale. And with that, Yugi boy, I will pass my turn fermenting the first step of my blonde ale. I will also be bottling. Why am I taking the one that's on flush? I'm giving hey. you that one back. Right. I've had this one in my hand for a while, I think. I think it's yes. that random one that I picked up and I've got it perfectly here. Good call for that American wheat ale. Yep. And I'm hoping I can do some more bottling as well. So let's see what happens. Uh, that's not how I want things, that's how I want things. <sighs> All right, ferment, yours ferments, your turn. Yes. I think I'm serving. Mm -hmm. I will serve, so yeah, I've got some really good options here. I'll serve this perfect, um, whatever the hell that is, <laughs> tropical stout I do love a tropical to the stout. Jamaican tropical stout loving individual. Um, and it matches sweet with sweet, so I will gain seven dollary dues. Nicely. And Done. a loyal customer. Oh, that's horrifying. <sighs> Up to eight. Your turn. Everything ferments. 
Now I've got a hard choice to make here because I've got nothing to serve. I've got nothing that needs brewing because I've got no beer that I can serve anyone. So what I think I'm going to do is pay $2 mm. and receive three recipes and maybe get myself the leg up here. Okay, I like that option. It's a very nice option. Oh, I've grabbed one too many. It's interesting because like, you might think of that as a wasted turn because you're not like progressing your board, but yeah. actually you are fermenting something in the meantime. Plus getting to basically scry three is really important when you're trying to match perfect beers in the very end of the game. I like the, I like the play. I also really like this. This. Hmm. I think the heart of the cards isn't with me today, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'm going to take this one. I'm going to reveal this one, and I'm going to put this one back at the bottom of the table. Hello, dog friend. <gasps> Every good brewery has a dog, right? That is my turn. It passes mm -hmm. back to you. Everything ferments. Ooh, perfect. Yours is ready to serve again, but you cannot serve it. Mm, no, I cannot serve it. Nor could I, unless I strategically give one of your people back and mm. pray for mercy. And I think I... Oh, you make this hard for me, Tom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. You raise me. I've also just realised that... So I, I had the order of turns wrong. While I stop you from getting a copyright strike in our video. <laughs> it's not actually... <laughs> um, it was that good. The customer gets added at the end of the round, which means the next round will be the final round. Because oh. this deck will run out at the end of this round. Clever. Okay. Oh, that's good beer. Save. I can't save. I wonder what that customer is. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. That, I think that's what it's going to come down to, is if either of us can serve to that mm. customer. Bottle. Because you're bottling, I believe, the one that I can also bottle, which I think guarantees you the spicy one, if this is what you are bottling. Yes. Yes, it is. I've had that one there for a while, but just never had a reason to bottle it. Yeah, it's like... I might as well have it on the go. I, should, yep. I mean, it was perfect, you saw, but I just threw my pieces all the way. Up. I guess I'll trust him. <laughs> and hope, hope against hope that something happens here. Yeah. Because they haven't been revealed yet. Have they? No, but what happens is Line. one of them ferments, my final one ferments. I think. Mm. Can I possibly bottle any of these? Potentially, not necessarily right now, but if things happen the right way, but I think, There's I think I need to serve. Oh, he's serving. Which I think gives you too many turns, but I serve my wonderful beer to this wonderful lady. Yes. Get myself one up on you. We do. And get myself four. Points. Unfortunately, it makes advertising probably out of reach for me. But I'll see if I can get that perfect last beer for the perfect last person. What are you doing? Oh, wait, first ferment. Ferment. Send Your over. turn. I've got to serve, right? Wow, I, yeah. I've got to. Before the round ends prematurely, somehow, some way. Um, it just depends on which customer I'd like, because actually all of mine, except the fermenting one, are viable yeah. beers. So... Yeah, that's the thing. You've got yourself set up to get three customers, potentially. Yeah. I think just sheer number of loyal customers might be my Might be the plan. win, yeah. So I'll, I'll give this lovely Munich Dark Lager, sorry, India Pale Ale, rather, to this lovely gentleman. He, that, that doesn't get him. You doesn't want that he? one. Why am I so stupid? Yeah, why are you I'll so stupid? I'll do that stupid? again. You can edit that out so I don't look so nah, stupid. I don't think I will. <laughs> Please, Tom, the viewers nah. can't know. They can't know. They can't know that you can't match I color. I, Admittedly, I, you are. Just picked like everyone that I could possibly feed. Yeah. All right, the Belgian Blonde Ale. I will give to this lovely yeah. young lady from Belgium, I imagine. 
I'll just squash it in there. Squash it in. Um, Wherever. So it fits. that was a perfect match. I get six dollar dues, and that's it. It's just a basic six. That that's up still to not a well eight plus six is fourteen. So there we go. Oh, that's horrifying. You you might be able to serve someone and advertise to someone and get multiple beers, and you pass it back to me. Your bottle for Yes. I think this game's run away from me, ladies and gentlemen. I think there is so little chance that I can brew the right beer for someone in time to get them in the time it takes Chris to serve two beers and then yeah. potentially advertise to someone. Uh, but let's see what I can do. I can definitely brew something. Yeah, I think you've had a pretty steady game the whole way through, whereas yep. I have saved up and then spent all my money in one go. Yep. Uh, I am not going to bottle that because I don't need money. I am not going to work that because I don't need anything. I think my plan is this one and hope against hope. Nope, you've already got that guy. Well, that's, that's everything. <laughs> that's it. I'm, I'm ruined. Uh, who's available? Which was it? The, the, oh, that, the, that one. I just started with the check. Yeah, though, wasn't I? that's what's unfortunate about it. Um, I'm going to brew because I can't manage to get anything back. Or maybe I'll go on a break just to make sure this round ends because I don't know where you're going to go and it will give me money and maybe no, but maybe I want to bottle something. <sighs> You've got to think about it like every time you serve, I'll serve. So yeah. what do you do in the meantime? Yep, to get anything yeah. close. Yeah, interesting. I feel like money is a tiebreaker, so let's, let's bottle. Mm. I think money is in fact a tiebreaker. I am going to bottle for my lovely starting folk again because I've got everything perfect for him. Scottish wee heavy. A Scottish wee heavy, which sounds like a lovely beer. Wee! And I've got it perfect and it gets me bulk money mm -hmm. because nothing else is worth getting. Damn. Fully Ferment. fermented, mine is. Oh, nearly Almost thrown away. Token. Don't lose them, they're very small. They're supposed to fit yeah. in a tiny tin. I want this round to keep going. And I also want to search for the perfect beer that is not currently in the market. It's probably in my hand, if I'm being honest. Well, uh, there are multiples, right? There's two. The, I, I don't know if there's two of everything. There are two of some. Okay, all right. Well, I also don't know that it's in your hand, yeah. surely. The, the India Pale Ale is the one I'm after. Yeah. So. I was looking for that one too. Yeah. I'll go for it. I will go for it. So it's pay two money to uh, search for a recipe. So I'm down to 12 money. Yep. Top three. Which is all of them. Oh yeah, it is all of them. It should be in there then, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the one I didn't get. Oh, real no. That probably decided it. Yeah. So I'll be taking one in my hand one is and you've really got it ready honest. to go as well yeah, it is i mean i'm not gonna not show it to tom look i'm not <laughs> i'm not calling the game now but chris has everything one goes in the the, the market the and one market. goes in the which could you least possibly get let's put that well i can get there. any of them that's the thing yeah and then that's the final face down one so now the turn passes to you you at least ferment in the meantime yeah but i mean I'm dragging the round out. That's true. Maybe that'll work in my favor. Um, I can't brew. Mm. So I'm going to go on a break, flip all customers over that need to be flipped, and get myself a free dollar. Nice. Yeah, money. Tiebreaker. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Might be the way to go. All right, pass back to you, Ferment. Hmm. Now, there aren't many things I can do. Advertise is to. Pay four dollars per person you have, so it would be sixteen dollars, and you've only got twelve. Not an option. <laughs> no, and fortunately, serve is not an option, yeah. and manage is not an option, so you can't bring your serve guy back. Yeah. With that overtime action that we haven't used at all this game. I must play, so I think I'll just go brew, right? Mm -hmm. You could mash and fill your tin up, but I don't think you're going to use it no matter no, what, I, so. I mean, on principle, I'll just brew. Yep. It's a game about brewing. Chris. Yeah. Might as well brew. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. The turn passes back to you me. You ferment your final piece. Yep. Now the last round. <laughs> this is getting 
intense. Everything comes back. We flip over the customers, we add the final customer, who is in fact perfect dry lager. We add the last recipe, we'll just flip this one over. Woo! Which is not useful for anyone. And we, uh, look, his beers have been out there forever. Uh, okay. uh, move to manage, manage would add another recipe, but there are no recipes, <laughs> we've gone through them all. Yep. Uh, and it will be my turn first. Do it. Can I do anything else? And serve. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I serve, it's just for money and then I don't have a beer to give someone to advertise to them. That's the... Yeah. That's the crux of it. Because I don't think I can make a beer in time to to give it to, to them give it via to them. advertising. But let's yeah. see what happens. I'm gonna serve. Yeah. I'm not even gonna have enough money. Even if I serve, I am $2 short. Yeah, because four per customer, like you'll have six, well, 16 is much the same. That's a steep price to pay. Oh yeah, it is. But I'm a big brewery and that's cost the big bucks. I'm not a microbrewery at this stage. I brewed so much beer. Um, can I do anything else to maybe sneak the win away? You know what? Let's try it. I'm gonna bottle. Oh, okay. I'm gonna bottle a terrible beer. Oh, all right. Just a really crappy beer. Look at look at how bad this beer and is. Just fling it to whoever is gullible it's enough awful. to buy it. I ferment the one thing that matches ferments properly. <laughs> yeah, the one thing. The one thing. I got my reasons all. for that. I don't think it'll work out for me, but I got my reasons. It's gonna be greedy if I go for the India Pale Ale. I think so. So I think I you've got to get the other ones that you do I'm going to serve so that if you eventually serve, you'll yep. have to give me an action back. Yep. So I'm going to give my lovely English milk stout to this my, my whole game plan. gentleman here. Perfect match. Six dollar redos. That's Pretty so simple stuff. Money. Yes. Oh, you're going to be able to advertise Now as well. I can advertise and everything. And I've got to shuffle my board around here. I have too many customers. Dude, you have played this game perfectly. I think I think you've had like no wasted brews. Everything's come out just right for you. So. So. Um, cool. Moves to me. Things ferment. Uh, now I say things ferment. What actually happens is it sits here and impurifies. It's an impurity in the beer. Mm. Uh, thereby, this beer is no longer perfect. It is smooth. Ooh, yucky. Uh, I am going to. Mash and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> and feel free to just take your turn while my impurities build up in this beer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I you've <laughs> got this game at this point. Well, I can't serve, so that's really sad, but advertising is something that I can do to fling off this final step. Actually, do I want to try and go for the India Pale Ale? I have the, the Munich Dark Lager pretty much down pat, and I'm not sure that you could steal it unless your mash is perfect. Remember when I bought this? It really didn't help out. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe that's, whoop. like getting the extra worker is vital in my opinion. Getting the extra tank space, I don't know if it's really worth it. Like mm. in my experience, I haven't done it this game. You're humble doing just opinion. fine. I don't even need to refill my vat, it's perfect. I might set down that beer that I scryed to the top by bottling because I do have it assembled yeah. and ready to go. It's that India Pale Ale and let it ferment while you try and scramble for a victory. I've made a muddled $2 beer. <laughs> but at least I have made a beer. Oh. <laughs> Is there anything I can bottle? Almost yes, but practically no. Look at that mess. Yeah, it really didn't come out in, in a way that helps no. me, unfortunately. No, that was very unfortunate. That was like, that's like a dog's breakfast. Like I'd, I'd have to brew twice to get anything good. Yeah, you're wasting time brewing this final round. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's the real problem because you're never gonna brew again, so I'm not getting that worker back. I can serve and it gives me 
it, it, it'll give me seven dollars, which will be fourteen and not enough to advertise. I should have fermented. Oh, that's fine. Ooh. I'm sure it's not going to make a difference, Chris. <laughs> I'm just rubbing it in. This game is so good. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to serve because I don't want to give that guy back to you and give you the ability to serve again. Because uh, you're already ahead of me, so I am going to brew, and I'm going to move this lovely orange malt a couple of times. I could move it up once more, but that's not really useful because either way I will end up with a lager, but I think you're going to advertise to that guy. Yeah, anyway. I certainly am. So that ferments. Turn, ferment. Okay. Advertise. Let's go. Yeah, I, guess I can't serve, so that's the best, best thing. So I'm spending 20, but actually, I can't do that, can I? Why not? Because I only have $18 redos. Oh. You can't. You serve to the guy, and your advertising got yeah. more expensive. Wow. I can't believe I missed that. How dare you, Chris? Well, well I could. How do I game money break? <laughs> you can break and get a dollar. <laughs> yeah. But if you break, then I'm ending the game yeah. before you get a chance to do it. Oh anything. yeah, clearly. I know what you need to do, but I'm not telling you it. No. I've got to extend the game by giving you something. Mm. No. Do you want me to tell you what you can do? Because I've already said, he's won the game already. If you're going to manage, yeah, I'm and you pay one dollar for overtime, you can get this guy back. Yeah, but that then you guarantees you the ability to serve again. Serve. Yeah, I, I, sorry, I did think about that, but I, it, look, I'm not serving anything. I'm telling you that now. I, I would only serve for money, and right, and Isn't, there's that's not there's worth not going to make customer. any difference to me. Okay, because I was thinking like every time I serve, you serve, so one for one doesn't really do much. It's just yeah. wasting time. But and also, I mean, that is such a mess that yeah. giving you a free brew action. So I will take your advice and, yep. and use it to stomp you in this game. It's fine. So I'll, I'll spend one dollar for overtime, take back my guy. Yep. Have you brewed? I bre did brew. Yeah. I'm gonna see how this works. I kind of kind of played you a little bit, Chris. Cause now yeah. I'm gonna bottle. You're gonna bottle the um, brew. Bottle myself a lovely, lovely extra Japanese dry lager. lager. I wonder if it will come off res in time. <sighs> I doubt it. Yeah. I seriously doubt it. All your meeples are gone. I'm serving. Yeah. You, like, unless I had some like big unless brain you, play. Unless you need to bottle. Yeah, but for some yeah. reason or brew. In all honesty, you, you don't need to brew. Much. Well, I, I, it, it's one of those games where you got to play it out to see how the bonus cards actually shake out. Um, oh wait, but sorry. I think Chris that is, was there, and then yep. now it's coming back to yep. me. Yeah. Chris has served to too many people for me. <laughs> <laughs> I got real lucky actually with some. I think you did, I with the way your, your tank shaped out. Yeah, up. yeah. And like my tank is completely clean. You can't get much better than that. Yeah, that's, I've never seen that in the like four times I've played this game. Serve, of course. Yeah. I'm serving to, uh, which of these is spicy and therefore strictly better? The Munich Dark Lager. Mm hmm. It, it, they're spicy, but they're already in your area. So you already have them for any. Oh, day. yeah, got it. Well, it's sort of inconsequential then, unless I had a yep. secret goal which cared about. Yeah. India or Munich, I'll go there. Again, moving my freaking coaster along because yep. I'm so successful. My turn, I ferment, I pass the turn. <laughs> I have to imagine you end the game. There, there is no I'll reason for you to break and take an extra to. buck. There we go. Um, <laughs> you did get money from serving. Oh yeah, uh, I so didn't you, even realize. Yeah, so yeah, it would I have guess... been five extra dollars. So up to 23. Which is not enough to advertise with no, your, your, you're always a dollar. There's short. too many people. <sighs> that it. is the end of the game. Let's check the end game scoring. So we check all the beers that we got for the middle one. Hello, let's count the start actually. I got one, two, three, four. How many loyal customers did you get? I got six loyal customers. Fantastic, well uh, done. Right. Uh, I have two spicy beers, including this horribly brewed one right here. I have four. Spicy beers, all of which were perfect. I Congratulations, never... yeah. have another loyal customer. Woo, thank you, that puts me to seven. Wonderful, <laughs> and what were, your, what were your two bonus goals? Um, I was kind of hoping you weren't gonna meet them. Well, unlucky for you, I actually did get the check, and actually all three of, 
of this goal, so I had that in the <laughs> bag. I don't think I've ever lost a game <laughs> on camera so <laughs> badly, but it just goes to show how well you can play this yeah. game. Secondly, I did have the Jamaican nationality for this one, but yeah. I believe you got I got the, the American, American, so that one so is said. That one is shared. half, because you yeah. need the most. So I ended up with eight, actually, eight um, loyal customers. Mine was the most, like, I don't even know what that symbol is. Oh. Hobby, paley? Hoppy, I guess. Yeah. Wheaty. Um, wheaty bit, yeah, that's a wheat. Oh my <laughs> sure. god, I play enough Catan to know that. <laughs> um, I have one. Yeah, now you weren't going for that I, that, goal, I do. Sure. You had those two already, and I'm like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm out of that. Um, I did get this one, fortunately. Mm. Um, I started with my Scottish boy. I picked up the lovely Irish dry stout. Yeah, that was when you asked about the English boy. And when that. you did, I had two of these already. Yeah. So I was like, sweet, I don't already need got it. to. It. Yeah. But that is microbrew. That is a worker placement game that you can go where other people's workers are, which is such a cool... It's a cool idea. It's a back and forth and it's a very cerebral war of attrition. And it all fits in this lovely case. Um, it's got a lovely sticker on it that shows you how to pack it all up. So we're going to do that now. We've been Nerds of the West. This has been filmed at Choco Brewing in the Swan Valley of Western Australia. Thank you so much for watching. As I said, somewhere halfway into the video, if you enjoy this kind of content, we do all kinds of playthroughs, reviews, anything to do with board games. We live stream, we have merch. All our links are down below. I've been Tom. I've been Chris. And we will catch you next time. Bye.